Hi there. Today we will be setting up Quen for code. For those who don't know Quen, this is a model family from Alibaba Cloud, and these are some of the top of the line, state of the art models for different tasks, including code, chat, human image generation recently. But today we will be setting up Quen code. It is a coding agent that lives in your terminal. It is very similar to Gemini CLI and it's optimized for Quen 3 Coder, which is one of the state-of-the-art open source models these days. And why it's more interesting for us is because this has some free options available. And under this free use policy, we have 2000 requests per day and about 60 requests per minute. And this should be enough to get you for your normal daily coding activities. So we can follow this installation but before we get to the installation, first up, it only works if we uh, authenticate with quen.ai account. So let's first go ahead and set it up. Quen chat. And here you can sign up for an account. Okay, cool. Looks like I have Quen set up. I have an account on Quen.ai and we can proceed with the installation now. Okay, the first command should install node. If you don't have it, you can run this command to install node. For me, I have it and I have a version that is greater than 20. I have 22, so I don't need to run this first step. But if you don't have it, please run it. And in this case, I would like to install from npm. This is the easy option. I would start by installing this from npm. And on my system, since I don't have administrative access, I need to run it with sudo for this user. If you already are an admin user, then you can run it without sudo. It should be fine. So it looks like it's installed. And we can check if Quen is installed with Quen minus minus version. And looks like I have 0 .0 0.0.7 and looks like that is the latest release here. So I have the latest release from three days ago, which is good. So once we have that set up, we can try to follow the quick start. And perfect. So what you see here is Quen, the ID, uh, the agent, and one way we could authenticate for this free use credits is using OAuth, and that is the first option. So we can just enter to select the first option, and it would automatically open this uh, browser window and we just need to confirm it authentication was successful now I can go back to my command line and it looks like it is set up and I can use it but it does recommend that I should use it in a project specific directory so let me try to do that try to exit this first and I'll make a directory that um, I like to test with any new agent as the shooter game I try to get these agents to create. We are in this shooter game project now and let me try to ask Quen to create a, a shooter game for me. Okay, so it's running now. It's trying to plan for it. It's got a few funny uh, progress messages hmm. interesting so what I like to see is these terminal agents these days have a really interesting interface right in the terminal and here it's asking me to confirm whether I like this change so let me just allow this change I prefer Crush interface more than Disks because Crush lets me see these pop-up windows 
if you don't have crush you can try to install it uh, from my other video but let's see how it works uh, with this quen now so it says that it has created a shooter game i'm trying to see what other commands i have if i can open up this game directly from my terminal using quen or do i have to exit this quen agent mode one thing i like already is that that is different from crush is this seems to have some editor interface that to allow me to open up and since i have new vim i can select that this was missing in crush i there was no way to look at the code here it seems like i can open up the code that's great let's see what are the options we have so there are no extensions but i'm curious to see what are the extensions we can install here okay so there is also a init that we didn't use but we could it would create a quen.md file where we could write our instructions for this project okay there is also a list of mcp servers that we can configure uh, we don't have any here i'm guessing yeah we don't but we could add if you want in memory okay we can set it up privacy stats theme oh mm, theme what do we have here like atom and okay so i can toggle vim mode i guess escape goes to normal you can see the mode here right now it's in normal mode if i write it doesn't work but if i enter insert mode then i can write my command which is useful for people who use vim uh, like me but for now i'll turn it off just to explore the other option i'm curious what this corgi mode is not sure what it does curious to see what stats tell me okay it tells me about the model that i've used cool so i had three requests for my job no errors latency of 15 seconds uh total prompt let tokens i'm guessing it's twenty five thousand seven hundred eighteen and 17,000 is in cash and the output tokens was only 3,000 we generated a code file with output tokens that's cool I need to run this I can't run it from here so I will try to open it from here and I can see the Quen space shoot again here pretty cool I already like these neon colors uh, very futuristic and let me start the game okay the the it created the game but doesn't allow me to move this instruction menu here i guess that's a bug let's see if it can fix it cool it's summoning the code gremlins <laughs> Okay, so it can see the issue that's a good sign so it's out to fix it so i am totally cool with allowing this change but just for the sake of trying it out i would like to see how it looks like when i modify with an external editor since i set neovim as my external editor i'm wondering if it can open it and it did so that's pretty cool this is the new vim editor that i use for development and so i like it if you are interested you can also set it up i have uh, another video that shows how to set it up and how to use it uh, with the keyboard shortcuts to save it and that's cool let me just allow this that was good that i can get into the id and make some quick changes if i need to and here okay cool so it's asking me to set up a uh, HTTP server using the Python HTTP module and it can serve the index.html piece that it has created. This time I don't need to open the index.html from the terminal, I can directly go to my web page and go to port 8000 to open up the game.
let's see if it's able to set up this local web server so after three minutes of waiting it still has not managed to set up the server i don't think this is such a hard problem for an ai agent a coding agent so something is wrong with this and it doesn't seem to be able to do this so i'll just exit from here to stop this so so i can run it myself so let me just open up the index.html and here i see the same game screen that i had seen before but hopefully this time it removes this and lets me play properly okay this it does and now off to the game okay as you can see i'm not very good at it so i already lose all my lives here I made a really beautiful game i like the colors and the themes and yeah whatever it has used to create this single page game it's pretty interesting and it's just a bit too hard for me to play but otherwise if you see these small details the shadow around this particular box the shadow around the bullets the shadow around these enemies these are pretty cool even the tank has a small nozzle for the bullets and since i asked it to create a 2d game explicitly it's created a 2d game i'm curious to see how it performs on a 3d game i will try it out sometime but yeah there you have it you can set up your quen code free requests per day it's pretty generous and 60 requests per minute it's a very generous usage that you can definitely get benefit out of for your daily coding tasks and let me know uh, how it works for you and enjoy